In this video we're going to talk a little bit about creating a video demo and for those that may not be aware of this actually all of my videos or nearly all of my videos on my YouTube channel have been done creating uh, or created uh, by using the video demo feature built into Captivate. Of course in my case I'm creating a video demo of Adobe Captivate so I'm using a copy of an older copy of Captivate along with a newer copy of Cap Captivate to get that done. So it's really straightforward. Um, video demos are, are you can be launched from um, the Adobe Captivate 9 new section or new splash screen. You can also do it from the uh, the file menu, select new project and then of course choose where is it oh sorry record a new video demo so file record a new and video demo but I'll launch it from here and we'll go create and the very first thing that happens is that you get this little screen come uh, up here on your screen this little uh, window that appears on your screen and it allows you to select either a screen area or a specific application and in this case I'll choose uh, the tripcentral.ca website and you can choose options like no panning no narration or you can add narration and you can select system audio so if there's any uh, Windows click sounds uh, those will get recorded as well so let's record this and we'll see how that works uh, it's going to ask me to calibrate my microphone, which I will do, and I already know that the preamplifier value of about 2.5 works well for my mic and my voice. So I'm going to click OK. I get the countdown, and now we're live. So I can simulate a process on a computer, whether it's filling out a website um, or using a particular business application all of this is getting recorded here so now I have to answer today's questions on tripcentral.ca Toronto Bloor Street used to be known as what um, I have no idea let's go with Bloor Village uh, which city is the host to the largest Caribbean festival in North America let's say Toronto uh, which province or territory is the last in Canada to get Tim Hortons I'll say none of it. Yeah, we'll submit. And we'll see how I did. I got one wrong. That should have been the mink mile. So once I'm finished, um all I can, all I have to do is actually click on the uh the icon for the um for the recording that I'm doing. So in this case here, I can just click on that and of course it will finalize my video capture and this will just take a moment and I'll take you through what I do to work on these because of course once you have a video it's really by itself not enough you want to do a few things to it before you publish it to so I'll just stop that it was going to play it for me so here's my my simulation and of course I've got a timeline just like I would for any other Captivate course and there's certain things I can do so what I like to do uh, before I start to uh, uh, deal with any kind of editing or anything like that I go into and find my narration and I double click on that that's in your your library and we're clicking on edit and this will bring me to the edit audio window and I click on Adobe Audition and then it loads it in Adobe Audition the first thing I do is I try to find a blank spot and just highlight that somewhere where I'm not talking where you can just hear the background and using the um, noise reduction feature and I go through the noise reduction process I capture a noise print from that blank area where I'm not speaking and then I go and I select the entire recording and hit apply 
and this will apply some basic noise reduction. It helps to get rid of the sound of my laptop fan and there's a ceiling fan in the room that I do these recordings in and uh, you know I'm sure there's some air conditioning noise and things like that. So that's it. I, I can exit from Adobe Audition. It will prompt me to save the changes. Say yes of course. And then once in Captivate 9 again I can click OK and that will import those changes. Uh, in this case the noise reduction into the recording that we're going to use here. Click Save and click Close. And at this point what you can do is uh, you can close that and you can just play back the recording and what I like to do is play back the recording and add the pan and zoom effects that are necessary to draw your learner's attention to the different things that you might be doing on screen. So right now I'm typing something into this text bar, bar right here, or box here. So I'm going to add a pan and zoom effect. And you see you've got the pan and zoom panel open from the video effects panel. And I can increase the scale, which is the zoom in effect. I can also pan and, and change the location of that on the screen. So let's say we'll make that about 200% there. Uh, you can also control the speed at which it does those transitions. So we'll just uh, capture this here and then hit play again. So and from time to time press the zoom out control just to return to a full widescreen. You know, and maybe add a pan and zoom just to, again, draw your, your learner's attention to the areas of the screen that are important to them. Uh, obviously, if you're expecting them to read some of the text that might, might appear on screen, zooming in will definitely help. And you can see on the timeline, you can see these individual um, pan and zoom effects uh, location on the timeline. Also, there's some standard Adobe Captivate stuff that you can add. So let's say we want to draw attention to this area of the screen. You can actually insert a highlight box. And one of my fa favorite ways to do a highlight box, let's go to properties here, choose a dark fill. And rather than filling the area inside the box, I fill the area outside the box. Increase the opacity up to about 80%. And then you can just draw this box to surround what area that it is that you want to focus on. And then you can adjust how long that highlight box appears on your screen uh, by using the timeline controls here. So let's just play that a little bit. So now let's say we want to move that highlight box or apply another one. I can actually duplicate this by hitting, by selecting it and hitting Control D and then putting that new highlight box after the other one. So the effect is this. You know, and on and on it goes. I don't need to take you through this whole thing, but once you're ready to um, send this up to YouTube or to publish it, of course those options are available right from the file drop-down menu. You can publish to YouTube, um, publish to an LMS, whatever it is that you, you wish to do. And uh, as I said, this is how I do every single one of my YouTube videos. So hopefully that answers some of your questions on how I do the screen capture technology um, just using video demo built into Adobe Captivate. Guys, if you like the videos I'm producing, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was interesting, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.